So for today's duct tape tutorial, what we're going to work on are these flowers. Um, this one's a large one. This was an originally a 6x4, um, so if you want to make this large one and then it measures across 4 inches. You could put this on a headband or something like that. I haven't attached it to anything yet. Um, so again, if you want to make a large one, that's 6x4 to start out with. Um, but today what we're going to work on are these smaller ones. And this is a 5x3 and then it measures 3 inches around. It just has a bobby pin here in the back. Um, I'll show you all that when we get there. So what you're going to need for the tutorial today is some bobby pins two colors of duct tape. I'm going to be using green and skulls. You're also going to need something to cut with, whether or not you want to use an X-Acto knife or a blade. Um, scissors would also work. And then you're going to need something to measure, whether you want to use a board or a ruler, either one will work. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of your duct tapes and you're going to start laying out your sheet of duct tape. Now we want to end with a 5x3 sheet. So the way I do that is I just start with my one of my colors and I lay it out. And I know I'm going to go down five, so I want to go three here. And then I'm just going to take my next piece and I'm going to overlap. You don't have to overlap a lot. And then I'll just make sure that my final piece ends at five. Now I'm going to pick up that whole piece and flip it over. Sometimes I use my knife to kind of hold the corners down. And then I'm going to take my second color and I'm just going to rip that, put that straight down, smoothing out any bubbles. Now I'm just going to flip it over, grab my knife and my ruler, and I'm just going to clean up the edges. And I do it that way so I don't have to worry about cleaning up or lining up my side edges. I'm never any good at that. So now we have our piece here that's five by three. What you're going to do is you're gonna need a little strip of duct tape because we're gonna we're going to accordion this up and we're going to need a little strip to hold it in the middle. So I just take, and the thinner you can get this the better. So that's literally the strip we're going to work with. So you're going to take your piece of duct tape and going <clears throat> 
you're going to start at one end and you're going to fold that up. And you're just going to accordion this all the way up the five inches. You want to try to keep your pieces neat. Um, depending how thick you do your accordion. will determine how many actual pieces it is. Or how many times you actually do it. So now that that's done, you can see that it's kind of accordioned out there. You're going to take your little piece. You're going to find your center. So I like to set mine down. And it should be roughly three inches. So you should be able to use that to find your center. You're just going to find your center and you're going to take your little piece and you're going to start it at one side and you're going to start wrapping it. And you want to make sure that you're actually finding the center. I think I'm a little off. Because what we're going to do is we're going to open this and we want the ends to meet up. You've got your little piece here in the center. What you're going to do is you're going to open it up to verify that your ends are going to meet. So at this point what you're going to need is you're going to need two strips to go along the top for the, co for the pattern color and then two to go on the bottom here for the accent color. So I've got three inches here of duct tape, roughly, and I just want I'm going to cut that piece in half, and then I'm going to go half again long ways. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one down here. I'm going to cut that in half, and then half again long ways. So what we're going to do is, now that we have that cut, we're just going to cut it one more time straight down the center, and that'll give you these really thin strips right here. And that's what we're going to use to join these together. So now we're going to take our strip here, and this is cutting this original piece into eight. So you're just going to take it and you're going to attach it to one side. You're going to go ahead and take that and attach it to one side. You're going to bring the second side over and just start folding it on itself. And it gets a little tricky up here in the corner so you can use your tool to kind of push it in. So that's one seam. And then you can just take your scissor, flip that over, and trim that. Now you're going to do the same thing for all sides. So again, taking your green here, You're going to connect that to one side and you're going to bring this over and you're just going to push it and then connect it. Flip it over and trim. Now you're going to take your black, make sure you have your small strips. And here's our seam. We're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to start at the top. And just fold that all the way down. Flip it over. Trim. And then here's our other seam. Take our little strip. And 
there's our seam inside the ruffle there. And you're just going to start by pushing that. And then flip it over and trim. So now that you're at this point, what you can do is you can take two accent colors. It's optional, you can leave it like it is or you can add this. So you're gonna take something to make a round circle. So what I'm gonna use is this is a lid to a pop bottle and this one's to a pill bottle. So you can just make an impression, which is what I'm gonna do, or you could actually get a pin Now what you're going to do is you're going to attach your bobby pin. So you're just going to flip that over, take your bobby pin, and you have this piece of duct tape that we used to attach it earlier, and you're just going to simply slide that in. Now if you want this more stable, what you can do is you can take a piece of green duct tape, or whatever your bottom color is, and just make little slits. And you're gonna actually use these to stabilize. You're gonna open up your bobby pin. You're gonna put a piece here. And you're gonna attach it to one of the ruffles. You're going to take your second piece, open your bobby pin, you're going to slide that all the way to the top. And you're going to attach it right there. So you could have added a larger piece here if you wanted to, to stabilize that. You can see here I did the same thing to this one. So there's the back and there's the front. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. As always, thank you for watching.